Top 20 Systems Engineer Interview Questions and Answers System engineers work in engineering management or IT industry with the primary skills of designing, integrating, and managing complex technological systems. Here are the common interview questions for the position of a systems engineer. 1. What are the roles of a systems engineer? Sample answer. A systems engineer works with other departments in large organizations to meet the needs of customers and clientele base. The professional has three primary roles. First, he focuses on installing, setting up, configuring, and maintaining hardware and software systems. This also includes solving every technical problem about the system, should they arise. Second, he analyzes data in an organization to improve it and helps to balance complex aspects of a project. Third, he ensures that upgrades to the systems are implemented so as to enhance security. 2. What qualities should a systems engineer possess? Sample answer My skills go beyond long years of experience in the field of systems engineering. For instance, I have patience and perseverance in working with complicated systems. I also have significant technical and analytical skills to perform various tasks, thus growing the business. 3. What major challenge did you face during your last role? Sample answer One major challenge that arose in my previous role was the increasing complexity of various problems that I was called upon to solve including system failure. The organization has inadequate procedures to effectively resolve these problems. To address this issue, I created a systems engineering plan that described the procedures to be followed in implementing system maintenance processes and activities to minimize or eliminate system failure. 4. Does learning about new technology excite you? Sample answer I am always open to discover new things since technology is ever-changing. On top of my experience, I seek to be better to make my skills more efficient. I also attend technical training every year to polish my skills and learn new ones. 5. As a systems engineer, which part of the job will you find most challenging? Sample answer Looking into complex systems and their behavior is a challenge, mainly because of the future's uncertainty markets, environments, and properties are changing, in addition to arising threats. However, I am always inspired to bridge the gap in the best way to defeat several performance challenges. 6. How would you react to a team member who has made an intense mistake? Sample answer I understand that it is not in my place to discipline my team members when they make a mistake. In light of the issue, I would report it further to higher management personnel if I am unable to address them accordingly. 7. Have you ever led a team before? Sample answer I once had to lead a systems development committee to gather effective ways of improving the performance of one of the website's software. We used great approaches that increased sales for the company. They included adequate system analysis and the total systems concept to achieve maximum results in the overall output. 8. Where do you see yourself in 5 years? Sample answer I look forward to assuming more management responsibilities and getting involved in solving more complex challenges in the field of systems engineering. 9. Why do you think you are the best candidate for the job? Sample answer I am passionate about designing, integrating, and managing complex systems. Besides, I am well trained and experienced to effectively execute this role. 10. Have you ever designed a software or system? Describe the relevance of the process. Sample answer The process comprises of four steps. Analyzing the requirements, including the suitability of the environment. System analysis control to measure and manage risks. Allocation slash functional analysis to allocate performance and other requirements. Synthesis of a suitable design to configure various system elements and items. 11. What's your take on the frequency of upgrading systems? Sample answer. 
security in an organization is enhanced when systems cannot be hacked or bugged, to mention a few. Therefore, it is crucial to upgrade systems to prevent such issues from arising. The upgrades can be carried out to full capacity every two years. 12. How would you break down a complex technical problem to stakeholders who are not familiar with technology? Sample answer I would use a cheat sheet, for instance, to help explain to them the technical terms in a simple way that they can understand. This would involve illustrating concepts and using analogies to make them understand. A network slash system diagram and business process flow would also be ideal. 13. What would you recommend for the improvement of our current systems? Sample answer As a systems engineer, my principal responsibility would be to evaluate the performance of the existing systems and identify areas that need useful improvement. 14. How do you plan and prioritize work during your time with our company? Sample answer I plan all my projects with a checklist and order them according to the urgency. I take my time to work on them attentively while managing my time significantly to handle the rest. The flexibility of attending multiple tasks is also an essential aspect of maintaining my schedule as it is. 15. Suggest any methods that would help to monitor and maintain systems for maximum productivity. Sample answer Monitoring should be done frequently, say weekly, to identify flaws before they become rampant. When they arise, issues should be dealt with immediately by individuals who are highly trained to ensure that operations run smoothly in the company. I would use IT365 technology to monitor systems, network usage, and performance. 16. How would you handle high severity issues and challenges? Sample answer. As I can work under pressure, unexpected issues wouldn't limit me from outperforming to the best of my abilities. In case of unforeseen issues, I would effectively dedicate my experience to calm everything down once again. I would also bring other departments on board to resolve the issue faster. 17. What would be your first step in solving a situation whereby production is decreasing? Sample answer. I cannot solve a problem without understanding what caused it in the beginning. First, I would seek to understand the issue at hand. Ideally, decreasing production may be as a result of systems failure or inefficiency of managing the systems. Correspondingly, I would establish where to start in bringing everything back to order. I would also perform a root cause analysis to identify the major problems that led to the issue. 18. Have you ever created a plan for disaster recovery? Sample answer. During my previous role, I came up with a design for a data recovery center. The organization adopted the design and implemented it. In the end, the organization had an active data recovery center. 19. How do you keep up with the latest system engineering technology? Sample answer. I have access to relevant materials and websites that showcase the latest technology in systems engineering. I also read publications often in appreciation of the work that other engineers have done and think of ways to improve it. Finally, I attend training to learn more about innovations and how to be part of them. 20. How would you troubleshoot the problem of a slow-running system? Sample answer. I would begin by monitoring how the system is operating versus the expected performance. Following this, I would assess every element or subsystem to identify the faulty areas. Once identified, I would ensure that that fault is rectified to achieve the expected functionality. Conclusion The above questions and answers can prepare an interviewer adequately to hire the best systems engineer. On the other hand, knowing what to expect in an interview will help an applicant to answer questions relevantly and as expected. Hopefully the System Engineer Interview Questions Guide will help you land your next dream job.